Hey guys, today we are going to talk about double tops. When should we try them and when should we avoid them because we are expecting the highs to break? So this was a question that one of our members asked me in my community and this is such an important question that the easiest way for me to reply to him was to record this video explaining to him what variables do I usually look for before trading a double top or bottom since it's all the same, it's just the opposite. Like when you are selling the other one, you are buying. So I'm going to cover three aspects that I usually consider before trading a double top. So first and foremost is to look left and at the highs and identify which levels are still fresh around those areas. Is there any levels that I think that price will spike in there? Yes or no? Secondly, is to identify the space available, which in reality this is the target that you'll be looking for when trading the double top. And third, is to pay attention to the approach. How price is approaching the high? Is it in momentum? Is price showing any weakness? Is price breaking opposite structure? So all these variables is going to help me to define if I should or not trade the double top. I hope you guys enjoy and get value from this video. If you are new, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. So we're talking about gold, right? A few things that you ask. So first of all, was there any entry based on PI that I could have taken or not? And secondly, when you mark a level, price reacts to it and creates some local structure. When it retraces, what info do you use to decide if it's likely retracing to give an entry or retracing because it, the move is already over, right? So that's one of the most important questions. And this is where not only experience, but start having some rules in place can help us to define if you want to actually to take the retest, uh, in this case, kind of selling a double top or if the trade is no longer there and if you should maybe expect actually price to break the highs now, right? So that's always one of the maybe issues that many people have. And there are a few ways that you can approach that question. All right, so first I'm going to answer that question and then we're going to look exactly at gold. So things that I pay attention to. Okay, again, of course, higher time frame. So those three questions, like where is price coming from? Where does it want to go? And where is price at, um, at the moment? And then when you're looking left as well, what kind of levels are still fresh or not? Like, and sometimes, as I mentioned, maybe uh, imagine that this is the high. Maybe there's one zone in here, then price drops. Then maybe there's another zone in here, then price drops. And maybe there's another zone in here and price drops. Like, so maybe you have, maybe this level could be, maybe something in here could be, maybe even the extreme in there. It could be, right? Or even this one as well. So all of a sudden, you may have like three potential levels where price even you can at least bounce from. Like price could bounce from here, like have a little bit of retracement and go. And now, are you going to sell this double top, or should you expect now price to eventually go to the next one, another bounce? Now, should we just ignore it and just leave price goes and and so on and, until we, until eventually gets to the extreme, right? And you can almost um, assume that price always wants eventually to get to the extreme. Of the levels, regardless of which time frame you're looking for, eventually price does want to go all the way to the extremes. Yeah, so what can we look at? We can analyze actually these zones in here. And uh, what I mean by that is when we are doing the analysis on the left side, you can zoom in a little bit into uh, maybe different time frame. And when we maybe think, like initially we thought that there was maybe this level, this level, maybe this level in here, right? interesting to look for a potential trade. But if you zoom in, maybe price already on the way down uh, from here. Maybe price already actually did this. Price already do went down. Maybe there's a spike in there and price goes, which maybe on the four hour time frame or one hour time frame that you're looking for, you cannot really see this spike. But when you go into the five minutes time frame, you actually see that on the way down, price already maybe spiked and it went and it went down. So this move maybe on one hour time frame is not there, right? Maybe everything that you see on one hour time frame is just this kind of candle and it looks like that this level is still is still fresh. But maybe on the world time frame, that level has already been spiked, price already reacted from it, which makes it a bit weaker, which maybe price is no longer that interesting, uh, interested to look for a sell, for a reaction in there, right? which then maybe validates a bit more that this is the level that price actually can bounce from, otherwise price just goes all the way to the to the highs. Like this is just to see sometimes when you have two levels close to each other, um, where should we be expecting price to, to react from? Because all of a sudden what happens in here is that all of it is basically compressed already. Imagine that these are basically on over time frame, these looks already compressed and all of a sudden we have this extreme of the compression and you have this, this other extreme of the other compression. So if by any chance you're looking for any trade, it will maybe from this zone underneath or then already close to this size and you can actually ignore this level uh, in the middle. So that could be just in terms of analyzing left to see what's going on. And then uh, the question that I asked like about 
your first trouble area. So when price is going up now, like price is now going up towards these levels, what is the first level that you think that price can retrace towards two and resume the move to the upside? Like what is that previous maybe level of support resistance? Imagine that you had a high in here and price moved down. So you kind of have this level of support resistance and there's high probability then this can be a good level for price to retrace, react from and resume the move upwards or maybe some kind of level of demand zone, whatever it may be. So being aware of that, it's always important in order to either validate or cancel eventually a potential sell at this double double top which also when you are aware of these levels usually this works as a target right so usually these levels in here whatever you think that is that first fta or opposite level of structure that is always a good level to look for a target at least the first initial target this basically opens up the space in terms of what kind of risk reward you can expect from. That was one of the things that you mentioned, right? Because again, uh, if you actually have traded from that level, that's basically uh, what, even if you call it as a 70 pip, that's basically more than 2 to 1, right? That's basically 2.5 to 1 almost. Uh, a risk reward. So again, I don't really know what kind of risk reward you're looking for, but that would be more than enough instead of putting so much in the extreme. But this is taking the consideration that maybe that will be your first level. Or if you're thinking about this level, it's your first travel area, maybe then it, you didn't really had enough risk reward in here to even consider, and that's why it maybe went a bit more to the extreme to look for it. Right? So those are a few things just to consider even in terms of, of the execution. I do sometimes struggle with that as well. And sometimes we actually, unfortunately, we actually limit ourselves on that. Okay, because sometimes we do think that the barrier is somewhere in here, for example, but then price actually dropped. And all of a sudden we are not in the thread because we were af not afraid, but we kind of concerned that maybe there was not enough risk reward. Where now that we actually see that price maybe have dropped all the way, maybe towards this level, there was actually enough risk reward. That's just some of the mistakes that sometimes I make of not entering trades because we kind of think that there's no enough risk reward and all of a sudden price surprises in a good way and actually goes much further down and then all of a sudden you look stupid because you didn't execute the trade or you tried to be too perfect or too precise on the on the best entry so things to consider in terms of should we buy should you not buy and so on like again it's it's exactly this concept of space first and foremost so yes what space is it available after the break of this yes maybe you have that entry or you could have got your entry somewhere in there and for example if you think that the target is still this low maybe you could still look for sales at this double top if you think that maybe that's your target because this maybe just be a small retracement and maybe could have looked for for that uh, sell and if by any chance you think that price now just reacted from that valid demand zone and price is ready now to go then it's invalidated like for example this is a good example like uh, in here you do have your short op uh, trade somewhere in here and price goes like and now where did price reacted to like you reacted with you from this place uh, in here like you actually got long in here i remember it took that trade but like, let's just pretend that now price exactly reacts from this level this is definitely a valid level okay this is actually kind of a, a nice little zone of structure we have this demand zone basically price filled the target that he had to fill all the way down from here price now is just ready i wouldn't really sell anymore at around this level even though we still have a little bit of a reaction but in my opinion the probability of this level is actually now to break to the upside we actually kind of broke some structure in here as well so we are kind of bullish at this point so i'm not really interested in buying any double tops at this at this point even though price still respected it perfect maybe we could have uh, taken some trades in here and where does it go to like this is actually kind of interesting so on that topic of should we sell at double top like should you try to look at the uh, for sales on the retest of this level so as i mentioned first part is is there space is there space yes or no that the first question that we can uh, validate and that's why in my opinion targets are always more important than entries and that's exactly why because without space for price to move towards so if there is no space there is no trade because there is a high probability that actually price just wants to go against you uh, either way and then the second point is when you now you analyze this level let's let's use this high as an example when you analyze this level in here is any supply in here still fresh is any level in here still fresh or has every single zone uh, within this level any supply uh, support resistance whatever has it been touched already on the way down so if everything has been touched on the way down there is a high probability then there is no more orders in here and price eventually is free to just break this high so that's another point when you are looking if you want to sell at double top kind of or not 
is there any level still fresh at the highs yes or no if it's not probability is for price to go higher if it's any level in there is still fresh so you maybe can attempt to look for a sell in there again maybe based on pa whatever at least you can expect some kind of reaction uh, in here now we do need to then be aware is of our expectations in terms of the new target because the initial target from here yes maybe it's a retest of this level perfect that was the initial target price filled the target filled this range and beautifully if price by any chance had maybe taken these lows and kind of retest maybe from here you still have this target available to still go towards you but now price uh, fill the target and now on the way up where is the next valid target that you have in here so price starts moving like this compression goes 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 creates this demand zone goes up so the new target for this level is uh, just the retest towards this demand zone we shouldn't be expecting again price to come back to this level again as we had initial expectation from here it's no longer the target the target now is only the next level that you are looking for and the only level is this demand zone in here that's basically where price went to and then eventually went upwards and it took the took the highs um in there okay created a new all-time a new high on this move so that's another mistake that maybe some people do is yes i still want to trade the double top okay you can but you need to be aware of the target that you are looking for and the target there's a high chance that the target that you're looking initially from here towards there is not going to be the same that you're looking from here towards there it can actually be bigger or it can be smaller what do you mean to be bigger so price is in here price is going down and instead of price respecting this demand zone it actually imagine that it breaks something in here let me just draw another example because this doesn't work um, in this scenario so we have maybe price going somewhere from here okay, price is going upwards it creates this this structure in here and it goes higher and now from here it goes down so where is the initial target in here maybe it's around it's around this level so it's around maybe somewhere in here whatever somewhere in there we are looking for price to respect and what happens is that actually price instead of just respecting it's not going upwards it's actually kind of breaks it and then goes higher so what happens in here is actually it opened the door to even further down where the new target now is going to be somewhere in here so in this case on the retest towards this level we can actually eventually look for a potential bigger target than initially we were looking for just from here because from here the initial sell is just towards this level that's the initial target just basically some sell from here towards here but the new one you can maybe actually sell it from somewhere in there and you can aim towards here again first we still need to break maybe these levels of structure that we have but eventually the final target can now already be aimed towards this level it's no longer this low it's actually this level again let's pretend that this high is reacting from a good level on the left side now if price actually respects this level like it did in here the new target now it needs to be only this level now imagine that the approach of this level is actually something like this price actually maybe creates a little bit of structure in here it spikes below it and it goes higher so this is actually a great thing that i like to see when i'm looking for double tops kind of setup is if on the approach we actually have maybe a break for example if price had broken this low this structure uh, in here then it starts opening door to go further down so what you're going to realize is that many times when you are looking to sell double tops on the approach there is already kind of a spike below kind of a, a some kind of structure on the way up that's why i always mention one of the best confirmations that you can have is when you have already breaks of the lows uh, on the way up like you want to see breaks of structure on the approach towards the level that you want to sell um, in the first place otherwise if price keeps respecting every single demand uh, it's more of a bullish scenario and there is a high probability that eventually price actually is going to break this so you can start when you're looking at the charts you can actually start realizing those type of, uh, of approach um, so that's basically another another big clue in here so is anything fresh still within this level yes or no if yes maybe you can aim for uh, for a sell and then just pay attention to the first target uh, in there don't have the biggest expectations or divisional in terms of expecting price to just make another 100 pips move when maybe the only thing available is just maybe a 20 pips or 15 pips move so that's something also to to bear in mind so now if we actually pay attention to gold okay 
actually if you want to see it in here so as you can see price kind of test it's actually just first look into this level so we definitely have this this supply which was a little bit left behind uh, and then you have all the structure this is the previous one and you have a little bit of this level so we have also these left shoulders in there and then you have this level this level has already been touched uh, in here but there's maybe something within this level in here that price could still react from maybe within this level something in here maybe price could still react from this level in here it's basically already taken yeah there was maybe this level in here there's maybe a little bit of this level in here eventually where price could react uh this level in here on the left shoulders already been reacted from so that's that spike down uh, again this could have been a great entry for the future maybe slightly above this at least above this high for sure uh, and then just a little bit of a reaction here it's not my favorite to be honest because this high already reacted from here so it's not my favorite fresh level that i'll be thinking about and this one is literally extreme uh, price reacted from this level it will be super extreme uh, in there in case price eventually it reacts from and, and a good exercise is exactly to do that like you analyze in here you maybe draw some Kind of lines or rectangles and extend it to the right side to see eventually where do you think that price could react from again i can see this one here i can see these candles in here this may be a decision point within this level where price actually moved to the downside maybe touch the, the lower edge of that yeah it already touched it right you can see that actually price kind of touched the lower edge of this level in there so that's a little bit of already a reaction so it starts to get weaker uh you can maybe extend then to the to the left and eventually you're going to see that there you go price indeed reacted from around that level uh, moved down queen demand zone and then eventually took um, it took the highs um in there right so that's a little bit of the level then if you want to be precise you can go there just put the line exactly on top of that and then you can just double confirm where actually price reacted from it's around this structure uh, in here okay and if you continue to do this exercise you're going to improve so much uh, levels that eventually you're going to understand where price actually reacts from we just do this first do the analysis in here put some horizontal lines uh, in there go right check where actually price reacted from if you miss it uh, or compare where price actually is reacting from and then put again another line exactly where price reacted come back into here to see exactly where price reacted from uh, okay so that's a good exercise to do and then looking at today right i didn't really pay attention to it in the moment but the highs is reacting perfectly from a supply level i can again just what i just did in there you can do exactly in here right so you can analyze on the left side in the bigger picture what's going on inside here so we have all these left shoulders we have this supply being created and then you have this one like and this is beautiful like it's a beautiful supply on one minute time frame this is beautiful like you don't really see any better supply than basically this on one minute time frame to be honest uh, which is in alignment to in the with the bigger picture uh, in here like in alignment with all those left shoulders as well and that's basically where price reacted like none of these signs reacted from it and you have this beautiful supply uh, in there just again a little bit of a decision point in here price will try supply created and it just drops from here if you want to be precise is which is just this level either these signs can have been even reacted from from there right so that's basically where um gold reacted this morning that triple top in there which i'm not a big fan of triple tops but that's where it reacted and then as you mentioned you i think you're looking for some kind of losing here whatever uh for the fake out uh, it would be my entry to be honest it would be somewhere in here um so we have these left shoulders as well basically can create some kind of this this rectangle kind of have the fake out happening in here so i have the fake out uh, into that supply have a little bit of this structure and then you have this this supply now you're interacting it was somewhere in here i'll be looking more at the supplies that were here one is in here the other one is in there and actually basically your price reacted this is a break that break to downside that you saw and that would be my my pa to be more in alignment with this with this level uh in here uh, okay actually like that level as well uh, yeah that would be basically the level in here that i'll be looking um in terms of the target like that's a tricky one but everything in here is compressed so we need to pay attention that we had this high of course so that would be always visual support resistance is always a good level to expect price to react from but price basically already reacted from it in here so it reacted first time in here it went down and then kind of reacted already so that's already taken okay so that's basically something that we can also pay attention to is that price reacted moved down went up reacted from it kind of that breakout setup and it went higher so this level itself is already being used uh, we have a full compression here so it wouldn't be really the target that we're looking for and uh, that's basically the next demand zone as you can see it's basically this structure um, in here like we have 
this decision price went up it broke the structure and below this level then you can look for price to go even further down but at this point this is basically a little bit of the structure that you could anticipate price to react from somewhere in here and uh, yeah it's not exactly my favorite in terms of final destination I think price event you can even go lower and price actually kind of already spiked a little bit in here so would i still be interested in um in saving from here um that's a good question personally i do prefer much more to touch straight away the first move down those are my favorite trades and i only like to kind of trade this zone to type of a move if there is a clear level that is still fresh in there and even on the higher time frame i like to see kind of that fresh week still in there maybe there's a little bit of that zone um, to be played with uh, in there i don't like this supply i don't dislike it i really like it to be honest uh this level in here that maybe this zone it kind of miss it uh, but yeah if there is a level that i would be interested in in selling it to be somewhere somewhere in here but we'll see uh, at this point price kind of reacted from a good level i would kind of like to see maybe some kind of pi to see price eventually eventually turning uh, from this level uh, it's not my favorite to be honest at this point it's not my favorite level uh, in there bigger picture is not bad uh, yes there is always a risk that price may want to continue to be to be bullish uh, in here but yeah but that's usually what i think about when i'm looking for selling kind of the double top again i do prefer to catch straight away the the first move down and that's maybe an example that i can give with this aussie yen for example i wanted to short it straight away in there so i missed out this move down uh, and now price kind of is reacting from a good target okay you can see it in here on the higher time frame this is literally a fresh demand zone so price and previous well support resistance as well also kind of this previous high on the left side uh, it's kind of reacting also from this level so it's a good level where the low reacted from which it may invalidate a little bit my my option to look for another sell at the highs now we did manage to break some structure so in the bigger picture we did manage to break some structure even though the low is, is okay uh, and I am curious, like I am curious, should I try to look for another sell in there or not? Again, something that I also like to see is maybe if there is any kind of liquidity in the middle that can attract sellers uh, just underneath the level that I maybe I want to sell at the highs. Like, so having some highs in here, kind of some special liquidity that maybe increased my willingness to, to look for another sell at the highs. Uh, and one of two ways can be done, okay? can be done already in here and I have a clear highs in here that I want to be faked out. Or it can be done on the approach. On the approach, price maybe can pause in here, create a double top, break some lows, and then it can have that last push and, and go. Like so one of two ways that I would be looking for the PI. You see that the liquidity or these highs are created already on the way down or can be created on the approach uh, in here. And what I mentioned in terms of breaking lows is kind of a little bit of what's going on already in here, kind of breaking slightly lows. So when you create these ranges on the way up, eventually i would like to see one of those ranges kind of being broken and then price just resuming like that's a little bit of the weak levels that i want to to notice that eventually can go like so that's just something somewhere else in there that uh, i potentially can look for for a sell and that's it guys i hope this video helped you to have a different perspective on what to look for when trading double tops just recap one last time first find fresh levels at the highs and on the left side second is there any space available again without space there is no trade and third, is price showing any weakness on the approach that gives us a clue that price is about to reverse. I really appreciate guys for watching until the end. By the way, let me know in the comments what is the main struggle that you have when trading double tops or bottoms. Is there anything in particular that is causing you to have losses when you are trading this pattern? And if you'd like me to do a follow-up video on this topic, please let me know in the comments as well. Once again, if you got any value, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm really trying to get 1000 subs, so I really appreciate if you could help me out by subscribing to the channel. Thank you. I will see you next time. Obrigado.